This is the meeting of the Historic Preservation Board, Denison, Texas. Can everyone hear me out there? <laughs> the paparazzi, too. Bad. Um, items for consider uh, individual consideration. Receive a report, hold a discussion, and take action on approving the minutes from the May 21, 2024 meeting. I move to approve the Second. minutes. Second. Motion by Rhonda Boren. Second by Linda Anderson. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, I did not say the members that were present. All are present, uh, minus Kurt Chikowsky. Item for individual consideration B. Receive a report, hold a discussion, and take action on a request for a C of A to make rear elevation improvements to 202 West Main Street to include replacing the door and second story windows. Thank you. The applicant uh, is not present, but they have been here before for um, their uh, the front facade. This is the building where the Black Sheep Cigar Lounge is going in. And in your application, you did see that they included the vinyl graphics for the front uh, signage on those windows, but I was able to administratively approve that so it's not included uh, anywhere on the staff report. But they are making a request to um, change out the um, commercial door that is on the uh, rear, that's the rear entry. There is a ramp that leads up to that, and there are two windows that are boarded up on that bottom, um, on the bottom there. So they are looking to replace the door with a black door similar to that of which was approved for the, um, the building right over here, the uh, Mr. Schaefer's building. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks quite similar. At the time, they were not sure if the awning was going to stay. That is a question I asked. It, you can remove it and then replace it. I'm assuming they want the awning to stay. The boarded up windows are going to stay boarded temporarily. Um, and the windows up top are original to the building. They are nine over nine. They appear to be in pretty good condition um, from what I could see from the standing just down by the uh, door in the alley. Um, they could probably be scraped, um, but they look like they're aligned really well. They don't appear to be off in any ways, and there doesn't appear to be a lot of damage. Um, just one pane of glass is missing out of one of the windows. Now, the applicant did say that they wanted to replace them uh, with a window that is similar to the second story on the front, so if you'll flip back in your packet to look at that. That's what they want to replace it with. They also noted in their application that they needed to replace them to meet the fire marshal and the building uh, officials requirements to have that window open. Um, but they should operate. I don't know if they're painted closed, but so uh, in making my recommendation, those were the things that I was taking into consideration. If repaired could they operate again certainly um, and we know windows are a kind of a tough subject to evaluate however um, our design guidelines as well as the uh, secretary of the interior standards for rehabilitation recommend keeping them when possible rather than replacing them altogether um, and it is not uh, the applicant did not indicate that they had done some type of evaluation on cost to see what the cost of repairing is versus outright replacement. The applicant does not own the building, so I, I know that becomes a tricky issue as well. Um, so with that, my recommendation is to approve the storefront door, the commercial door on the bottom, uh, and I did not recommend total replacement of the windows per Chapter 5 of the Denison Downtown Design Guidelines in which the treatment of historic windows is detailed and references repair over replacement first. Do you happen to know his intention, the owner's intention for the second floor? Is he, is he utilizing it now? Or? Uh, I don't know. They were in there working, um, the contractors, and they were upstairs when I was there. So my... I, believe that the cigar lounge will have a second story. Oh, okay, the business will utilize the, a second yes, story. Yes, okay. I believe it's a two-story business, but I can't confirm that. I don't know that yet. So other than the fire marshal saying that he needed to have operable windows, 
has he had any mm -hmm. other anybody else to look at the wood windows to see I don't okay. I don't know that okay on this west window right mm -hmm. here um, that's reversed it's down a little bit and if you look at the other two windows um, you can see that oh, the you're right. top one is down and the yep. bottom one is yep. up and open at the top a little bit so is it stuck or is it operable We could um, possibly rethink um, table just that portion of mm -hmm. it so that That's the owner thinking. can come back with. Yeah, they need mm -hmm. to come here and explain yeah. that. What yes, and, th and we also, I would say, it's not relevant for you to return until you have some mm -hmm. options exactly. about mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Until they determine the, exactly. the, cost the relevant cost. And, right. and if it's repairable. Agreed. Right, right. Well, and I, this is, I did call and ask her about the bottom two as well. Um, because I would think that if you're replacing all three on the top, you would do the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that, I don't understand why the full uh, improvements wouldn't be made. But so I'm I sure there's a reason behind be that. Included. I would assume that ultimately it will come down to economics, but we can't make a good decision unless we know what those are, including if you're gonna replace, I agree, let's talk about per window expense. And, and with the query of, well, what about the mm -hmm. bottom ones that you feel like you need to replace? And might be able to get him the name of the um, people that did the, the company that did the uh, restoration of the windows. At the deep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the use of the second floor for mm -hmm. that to be clearly. Mm -hmm. Would we need all of that determined in the motion or no? I think I don't see that. Yeah. I will move then to approve the a portion of the certificate of appropriateness to make the rear elevation improvements, um, including the door, before we give this group the door, um, that we will table the replacement window request for the second story. Um, uh, until the uh, owner or the applicant can determine the cost and uh, repairability and functionality of the second floor as well as the use of the second floor. Just to clarify, determine use, functionality, and cost of the windows and use repair, of the second floor. And if, and if reparable, right. correct. I second. Okay, we have a motion by Rhonda Bourne and a second by Steve Riley. All in favor? Aye. Motion Aye. carries. Staff updates. Uh, yes, I had put in the slides which Sam had put together and then I think I saved elsewhere this morning. Uh, three staff updates for administrative approvals, all for signs. One was for the black sheep. Um, they are white graphic final graphics to go on the front window. The other is for um, Texoma or Eye Care Texoma. Um, the name of the, the practice is changing and so they are doing the same exact sign but changing um, just the name of it. And also um, the vinyl graphics on their windows. It actually, to me, it looks a little cleaner, cleans mm -hmm. it up a bit. And then the third one, um, we will work on getting this one out today is for the Katie Depot, it is a temporary banner sign and it's not required to come through HP, but they did submit an application, so I wanted you to be aware of it. Um, it is the banner where the Green Growler banner mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. and it just, it needs a little beautification yeah. right there. Yeah. So they are doing a temporary banner sign, which is allowed um, typically for 30 days. I don't believe that's long enough and so with uh, the assistant city manager, we decided to extend that a little longer. But with that, they'll have a new sign. It'll be um, adhered to a, uh, some type of board and screwed in. And then they are beautifying the flower beds as well. So I'm putting new flowers in there. So nice. it, it's an improvement for sure. Um, and then they are working on a temp or a more permanent solution, um, probably a monument sign of some sort. But okay. so they're trying to work with one of the neighboring property owners as well. That's nice. Have you heard from Red River that moved in down in the corner where the Michael used to be? Have you heard anything? Because no, 
to have a picnic in my Midland Lakes yet? No, I have not. Okay. Those are the only updates I have. All right. Thank you. Did you have a question? I was just going to ask about something. Mm -hmm. The bargain box, have they have put a, an exterior air conditioner. That is correct. I, I received an email from them this morning, and Donna has supplied them with an application because I believe they encroach on the alley. So we will be addressing all of that. Mm -hmm. okay. so I just got that this morning. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there a yes or a no? Unless you're going to have a motion to adjourn. I'm not sure I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> We have a lot of talking to do. We need to get. Okay. We can just walk out. 12 12. <laughs> we adjourn this meeting at 12 12. Yeah.